This is to teach young men for the future of our community, of our country, how to treat women. It's not about right now, it's about the future. And if we can change just one person, then we've had an effect. Until we get to the point where those conversations are happening within families, um, around the dining room table um, of a night, and there's an open acknowledgement that this is an issue and it's not okay and it has to be dealt with, um, and it has to be dealt with in a non-violent way, then I don't think we're ever going to get to where we need to get to. You know, if you're in fear for your well-being in any way, whether that's psychological or physical or uh, mental or whatever area, then I think that that constitutes violence. And um, obviously the, the easiest one to see and to, to know about is the physical side of it, but there are a lot of forms of abuse. Um, and, you know, you need to be aware of, aware of all of them. Yeah. So it's a mixed emotion, sad and angry, um, because um, personally I think it's totally unacceptable and, uh, and I just couldn't think of, uh, of doing that to a woman. And, uh, but again, I'm not gonna, not gonna lie, I know it happens and I've seen it happen. Certainly listening to, to what some women have had to say mm. makes you sit back and go, well, hang on, this is, a, this is a serious problem. You more look at the courage that the woman is showing to actually stand up and tell her story. Because you could imagine how hard it would be to actually have the courage to come out and say, no, hang on, I'm a, I'm a victim, of, victim of violence. I'd like to cry. Um, I don't feel so ashamed anymore. I used to feel really ashamed. Um, I don't feel ashamed because it's not, it wasn't my responsibility. I didn't ask for it. I didn't create it. I, I just was there by virtue of being there. It is talked about as being a hidden crime um, and people are embarrassed to talk about it or perhaps even frightened to talk about it. So it's a lot more widespread than the statistics actually show. Look, we can have all the laws we like and there's been a, um, a, a quiet revolution, I have to say, when it comes to changing the law to deal with family violence. But we need superstars, we need people like the AFL who really have a great brand and have worked very hard in the past to change culture in particular areas. Look at racism for instance, I mean they've done a great job. So to use the AFL, the brand of the AFL, AFL footballers uh, to get the message out in particular to young men I think is a great thing and so it's very important that the AFL also takes a leadership role in stamping out family violence. It's time to grow up and get with the trend because what was acceptable 10, 15, 20 years ago is just not acceptable today. We've moved on. So does anybody out there that actually thinks that it's okay to demean women, that it's okay to um, perpetrate violence against women in any shape or form, grow up and get with it because it's not. It's just not. And Think very carefully about your actions because these things have everlasting damage to people, they have everlasting damage to women. And again, I say to you, if that was your mother or your sister or your daughter and that was happening to them, how would you react?